One way that centrifugal pumps can be categorized is by the way liquid flows through them. Three common flow path classifications are radial flow, axial flow, and mixed flow. In centrifugal pumps that have a radial flow design, the impeller causes the liquid to make a 90 degree turn and flow outward, or radially, from the suction eye to the tips of the veins. A radial flow pump takes advantage of the maximum amount of centrifugal force that the impeller develops. Generally, radial flow pumps are capable of higher discharge pressures, but they don't move as much liquid as other types of centrifugal pumps. In centrifugal pumps that have an axial flow design, the impeller moves the liquid through the pump along a path that's parallel to the pump shaft. In this type of pump, the liquid is moved mainly by the propeller action of the impeller's veins. This impeller uses only a small amount of centrifugal force to move the liquid. As a result, the discharge pressure of an axial flow pump tends to be lower than that of a radial flow pump. However, an axial flow pump may be able to move large quantities of liquid. Mixed flow pumps combine the characteristics of radial flow pumps and axial flow pumps. They use centrifugal force and the propeller action of the impeller's veins to move the process liquid. For that reason, a mixed flow pump can develop a relatively high discharge pressure and still move a large quantity of liquid. 